Hello. So uh, it, I know it's been a while, uh, but I needed some time to focus on me for a while uh, and work on you know my my own energy. Uh, also, they uh, did remove one of my videos here off YouTube. So which kind of relates to what we're going to be talking about today, which is communication. And so, I mean, it is related. <laughs> um, so there, there is some censorship going on, and I don't know how, the extent of this. So I, I don't know exactly what how far it will go i guess <laughs> like what you can and cannot say specifically right because uh the reason they they took one off was uh they said i was talking about conspiracies and that it was uh spreading false information was specifically i think the way they put it in the email this was an older video and I, I can completely understand why they did. Um, I am not saying uh, it's as much of that type of content anymore. Uh, what I do want to uh, target is just spreading light and really spreading uh, true information. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> Uh, so uh, I'm not really caught up in that anymore. When you get out of the fourth dimension, you don't really uh, play out that game anymore, uh, I will just say. Uh, but who knows what will happen is my point. So I may put some videos on Rumble, something like that. So I'll let you know if I begin to have another platform that I use. Not that I'm going to stop YouTube at all. I plan to use it as long as I can, but I'm just saying that I, I want to back up just because I do feel called to present this information. And so I want to, you know, give, give it in whatever way I can, where I can. So just let you know that. Uh, also an update, I am no longer doing personal sessions at the moment, at least. The reason for that is pretty detailed, but in a gist, I have realized what my true mission is and my, my mission is to write. So I am focusing on my writing, making that a priority. And so that is what I am doing. I am working on my book about the about the matrix and channel the information there i'm also doing a companion book as well with that like at the same time <laughs> so that is what i am doing as well as my main gig which is my counseling so that's an update on me do you have any updates you want to um do? just that <laughs> Um, I know I was making the meditation videos and none of those have come out. Um, I had a whole plan of them, so I definitely have a plan of ones that I can put up, but, uh, I got a new laptop and I hadn't set it up to do editing yet. And I've just haven't gotten it set up, set up. And then I have a lot of stuff that I've been trying to figure out with me as well. So I do plan to make those videos again. I just don't know exactly when, <laughs> but they will come back. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Yeah. And and I also don't want to make videos when I feel like I, it's like I should and I have to. So I <laughs> don't want to do it when I feel like it's it's a chore. So, all right. Uh given that, let's just get right into the video, right? Okay, so today we're going to be channeling uh, Archangel Gabriel. So Gabriel is the Archangel for mess, you know, giving messages and communication and the throat chakra. 
So we have some questions here to ask for clarity on how we can better use our voice and what, how to speak from the highest perspective, um, from our higher self, from our heart. So that's what we will be channeling today. Okay. Okay, and as I connect, he's he's kind of funny, <laughs> and that he says, "Hi, we haven't really spoken, you know, because of him being the messenger, right?" Um, anyways, it's kind of a joke. <laughs> so we haven't really spoken much. I have spoken, but yes, he's correct, not a lot. <laughs> He says he's here to speak up. <laughs> um, so can you tell us about communication from the highest perspective? There is no communication. We speak from energy. When you Okay, so I'm kind of taking this moment to kind of reflect upon where I am speaking from. And he's kind of guiding me to speak, you know, from the heart and from energy rather than the mind. Okay. Okay, speak from consciousness. Don't define yourself by the thoughts or the words. Don't define yourself by anything and become the thoughtlessness, the beingness. The confusion is only from the ego. It is only from the mind. And so step away from that to flow. Flow with each word. Flow with your energy and you will never even have to think about what you're saying. It will just stream from a stream of consciousness. As you are doing now, you're stepping away from all thought as you just let it come. It is a channeled form. When you channel, you step outside, you step back. And so it is like that. You just let it flow. You let it come. And even if you are not channeling an external source, although we know that there is no external, you can stream through your higher self, your true self, the self that is not governed by any personality or history. It is the one that comes in and is the understanding, the understanding of all that is. It is the blueprint that goes beyond the mind and does not use the mind. Yes. You have a thought about how you are using the mind and that it cannot escape the mind. But does it? Does it really? You have a thought about that. You have a thought that you must use the mind and that you are challenging me, but I say, you do not need the mind to think. You do not need, need the mind to be aware. And that is consciousness. There is no reason to use a computer. The computer does not need to exist. Therefore, once you can escape the mind completely, the mind will be liberated and you will have a different form, and therefore you do not need the brain for you to exist. You are escaping the brain entirely. Do not confuse yourself with any piece of material, any piece of 
this tangible reality. There is no reason to use words even, for that is just part of the matrix, matrix as well, for it is all just beingness. We are done with that question. <clears throat> okay, can you give us more information about speaking from the higher self and how we can tell the difference between that and us speaking, I was going to say from the mind, but I, I want to say like the lower Lower chakras. Yes, yes. The lower chakras. And that is the blueprint blueprint that I want to speak of is that the lower chakras and the information governed by your root chakra, your sacral, and even sometimes the solar plexus are communication that vibrates from a lower density. The healing will happen if you focus more on your upper chakras the heart the throat the third eye the crown and above and sometimes even below if you do the star stars chakra and so if you use these chakras you can begin to understand yourself in a higher thought form, in a higher reality, and even beyond the mind, beyond your Yeah, he's good. He's cashing me when I even just <laughs> Yeah, cuz okay. Okay. Because I, I was bringing in, I was just like, what about memory? You're going to speak about memory. And he just pauses. He's like stopping me. <laughs> He's like, you're using your mind. Yeah. Like, don't step into the future. That's kind of what he's bringing about, too. Okay. Like, it's really, it's like you're using the past to speak like you're one step ahead for what is going to come. Okay, he's like, that's all an illusion. Time is an illusion. So getting into the flow of just the present and existing now. Okay, okay, he says, every day connect with the heart One thing at a time, one breath at a time, one word at a time, one vibration at a time. If you can master this, you can master your reality. And break free from all constraints and all existence will just become a fluid motion that will be and will be. And I had a thought, I'm like, man, that sounds hard, <laughs> you know, if you do that, you know, constantly. And he, you know, I recognize that that is a thought, right? <laughs> Movement and change and no separation. And therefore, if you do become separated, just bring yourself back and just refocus. If you refocus, you will break free from all your chains, even seeing that you can't, and even recognizing when you have fallen away, you can bring yourself back. There is no failure. It is a completeness. You've already arrived. Every time you are in the moment and in the flow, you've achieved the reality and the reality will become you. He says sometimes it's hard to explain with words. He's trying, but even that, he has difficulty finding words to convey the truth of what he's trying to give. And that's too the part of the understanding is that we are limited 
in thoughts, words, language. And so all that we can do is try to find the right words and know that there are never any right words, but there are higher words and we can even convey beyond words. Do not define yourself by anything that you say or anything that you do or anything that you think, for it does not matter. Bring yourself back to the heart and become the consciousness and the consciousness will flow and the consciousness will be conveyed and expressed and the other will understand you from a state of consciousness and the field of your energy rather than anything that you say or do. And therefore it will all become lighter and you'll become brighter. Love is the energy and love is the oneness and the flow will shift your consciousness. Each and every day become more and more vibrating from this field and you'll become the self. The self is beyond all thought, beyond all change. It is that which it is. And all shapes will become illusions and therefore you can escape the prison system and then you can use it to your advantage. Alter your thoughts and you can alter your illusions, but do not become the thoughts and do not identify with any illusions. Therefore, that is the answer to the question. He's kind of straightforward, I don't know. <laughs> More so than Michael, it's, it's, I don't know, his energy's different. Anyways, okay. What's the next question? Tell us about the throat chakra and how to use it for the highest and how can we work with it and keep it balanced and cleansed? Is there a thought that comes from the throat chakra? Thoughts come from the mind. So when you use your throat chakra, you can liberate yourself and free yourself. Bring yourself into the heart and then work with your throat. The throat is the energy system that conveys, that connects. It moves a certain energy through. You can think of it as a conduit and a flow. And so it's sort of like the energy huh Okay, he, I, he's saying I have stuck energy. <laughs> okay, okay. He's saying, okay, I, I guess he's just, he's saying, do not define myself by stuck energy. So he's saying, if we feel like our throat chakra is blocked, do not identify with a blocked chakra give it up and say that your chakra is flowing and open and and balanced and, and as bright as it should be so i if we want to bring our chakra to a balance and openness and brightness we need to just believe that it is so we can do lots of exercises and lots of expressions and doing all this has value, but the most important thing that we can do is just believe that our chakras are balanced and open and cleansed and just believe it. And therefore that is really all we need to do. So there's visualization exercises, vocalization, sound. There's so many things we could do, but 
there is nothing more than just believing and that's the most powerful thing we can do just bringing energy into the throat and just believing that that energy is is bringing about a change and that's really how we can create too we don't need to do all these energy exercises per se it's really just the energy of consciousness just stating that we are we are the form but we are not the form so understanding that any form that reflects us is but a a mirror we are not the mirror so it is light reflected outward and we are light but we do not have to take on any shade we are the light in totality and therefore we do not become any light form so declare yourself in the light form which you match with match with and become that which will match you give up all forms and become the light and therefore the light will become you what was the question Adrian? Tell us about the throat chakra and how to use it for the highest and how can we work with it and keep it balanced and cleansed? I guess, I guess that's, that's it. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm a little suppressed. The answers feel, I don't know. I feel like they answered the question, but not quite the way that I I know, <laughs> I know. But I think <laughs> like that's the whole point. Yeah. We have our minds mm -hmm. creating this story of what will be presented <laughs> right mm -hmm. it's interesting okay so yeah so the the third chakra is the the movement of energy that's what that's what it, he's giving me it's like the vibration that we move through to create basically it's like an expression so how do we know when it is best to speak up or stay silent <laughs> one way to speak up is to understand yourself if you understand yourself you will understand when to speak up when you know yourself, you can understand the difference between speaking up and staying silent. There is a different and a movement and a flow. And sometimes the flow will stop and sometimes the flow will shift. And sometimes there will be a flow even when you are standing still. But you need to understand the difference. What matches you? when can you know the difference between you and another mm. for another will tell you when to speak up they will tell you when to stop there are illusions in your matrix there is illusions within your brain and programs that tell you when to stay silent and when to speak up these do not matter it is not about your lower chakras that will bring about fear. It is about the higher chakras. Not to say that the lower chakras do not have value, and they do, and it is important to work with them. It is important to unify all the chakras and to work with all of them. But in order to heal and in order to advance, you must also look at the higher chakras and work with those and to speak from your heart. 
merging your heart with the throat and then your throat through the mind. You do not need the mind. It is important to be mindless, but you can still use it to your advantage. Once you understand silence and the stillness of your mind, you can use the mind. But do not value it as your story. Become the heart, become the stillness, and speak up from a place of you. There is a difference here. So speaking up is the same as standing still, for they both have value. You just need to know when, and that is not anything you need to worry about, for that is only the mind who says, maybe I'll do something wrong. It is the mind that tells you that maybe you will speak up and you shouldn't. And that is all fear. That is from your brain. That is from your illusions, your distortions. Time does not exist. Let them go. Become free. All will exist. Knowing this, you can become all. And that is truth. Be as you are. And nothing really matters. It is all but a game, and it is fun to play. <laughs> he says, give me another story, which means <laughs> the question. I don't know, this is mm -hmm. funny. So, you kind of already said that, I guess nothing would happen, but just for the sake of the question, um, what happens if we stay silent when we have something to express? If you have something to express, you will either express it or you won't. If you have expression that comes from the heart, you will express it. If you have expression that comes through the brain, the mind, and you don't, it was ego anyways. And that's the truth. There's nothing to fear. You need to speak up because it is, it is you and that is love. When you know love, you will know that you should speak up. How you speak up is more important than what. The energy behind it and the energy which you see yourself as it doesn't say much, meaning you don't need many words. Sometimes many words will flow, but it doesn't matter how long. It matters what the exchange is the vibration behind it. Does it activate someone? Does it wake them up? Does it heal them? Does it connect with them? Does it bring them love, compassion, joy? Knowing the difference. I'm just recognizing how he doesn't need to use many words. <laughs> but there, there's a lot there, right? <laughs> Tell us about the words we use and how to choose higher vibrational words and thought forms. All that you value is dependent on words. You 
place ideas behind words, meaning behind words. What you say has meaning. If you want to tell somebody that has a challenge in words, you can speak up and, and give them love. Give them an energy behind the words. There are words that have lower density, lower thought forms, if you will. They have a dense field around them. The energy is very dense and stagnant. And then there are high energies with beauty and transition. The field is high. One way to understand this is to free yourself from all thoughts and bring in love and see what thoughts come, what understandings flow in. And then bring up fear. You can use a memory to your advantage, an image thought form, something dense and see the difference, what thoughts come. Then you can understand a variety of changes within your field. You can bring in some other thought forms that mean we are on the spectrum of high, low. See what thoughts come there. And you can see how the spectrum of energy can influence the words that you use. So if you want to use high words, go higher believe that you can go higher. And all will flow into your advantage. If you have to use low thoughts, low words, because you feel that you need to exchange these for someone is using these words, you need to connect with them. Breathe. And do not connect with the words. Do not attach to the words. Say the words with the most love that you can. And then you will become more beyond the words. They do not need to define you. You can even cuss and use a higher energy field and it will not matter. If you want to play around with it, you can use some dense words, but vibrate higher as you use them. That could be a fun party game. How do words create our reality? Are they necessary or do they add energy to create? You can create, you can use them. When you use them, it's the vibration behind them. The sounds have a vibration. The tones have a vibration. Energy has a vibration and therefore you can create through sound the movement behind them. You do not need them to create. It's more of the thoughts to create rather than anything else. What is your intent? What is the energy behind it? You do not need thoughts to create either. You can create through words, but you can create through sounds and colors, shapes, breath movements. One way is to create through sounds and words and that is only one way. Energy is the only thing that really matters. Hold a certain vibration and everything will match to that vibration. You can define things through words and thoughts. 
mean specific, otherwise it will just flow in, and which is the highest way. We do not define it as better or worse. It just depends on what you are vibrating for. If you want to choose your reality, I want to select it like you would a catalog, that is fine. Just hold the vibration that does not match with it. Do not define that as your reality, meaning if you define yourself as something, you become attached to it. So let it go and become grander and higher than that. You can select your house, but do not become the house. Become your vibration beyond all that you see. It doesn't matter where, whether you have that house or not. Just be. He's just giving another story. <laughs> How do sounds compare to language since um, language holds more? of a story to it than sound. Language is very complicated. Messages are within the system. Some have many words for one thing some do not have words for that thing at all. We want to speak of sounds. Sounds are different. Sounds are vibration and harmony with the speaking. You can speak any language from a higher state. Vocalization is powerful when you bring through energy. Bring through the highest energy that you can by connecting with your heart. Does that matter what language you use? Some will speak of language being higher and lower. Some being more, more harmonious than others, but we say it does not matter. It does not matter what language you speak, as long as you speak from the heart. Some hold more value to sounds and how the sounds of the words sound. And that some languages are more beautiful, but it does not matter. Keep to your heart and it, there are no fields of energy that do not matter. There are no fields of energy that you cannot use. That is all. So is it more powerful to vocalize the language than to write or speak it? No. Because there can be value in the words on the paper. As long as the value is high, as long as the energy is high. Keep the illusions at bay and speak from your heart. Speak from higher state of consciousness. Bring in energy. Work with energy and it will be exchanged. People will pick up on it even if it is on a piece of paper. And there is no past. It was not in the past. It is all happening now. In reality, there is no past and future. There is only present. You are speaking to them in the present. Do not define yourself as the one who spoke and then it's only on paper. Know this as well. They can tap into you.
We place no value on the system of writing. We place no value on the words. It is all the energy exchange. We hold a vibration that does not match to language. So do not define yourself as language either, and you shall transcend it. Expand beyond it. We are done. Did anything else come for, up for you, Heather? No. <laughs> Is that all the questions? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. He says, we are pleased to be here. We have spoken. <laughs> it is now time to end. Yeah, yeah. Very straightforward. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. Any last thoughts? Um, just the answers I feel would have been different if it came from Michael. Like, not what was said, but just I feel like there would have been a bit more to it. I guess. And so I was just kind of like, oh, okay. Because it's different. It just is different. And so. Well, it's, it's different. Um, what's coming to me is fragmentation. So we're all source, right? And we fragment off and say it's different. It's a different part of source, right? It's going to sound different. <laughs> It's all from the same collective, though. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all kind of um, spectrums. You could think of it as, you know, the rainbow and different spectrums. So, yeah, it's different. Yeah, I've called them both of them together, and they're very powerful when you oh, call them together. Well, I've never talked to Gabriel. Before, oh yeah, so. I mean, if you call them <laughs> together as a collective, and they're they're friends, right? <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, they work really well when you call in Michael and Gabriel together. The, it's so powerful, and like your voice just is it really. Um, I just want to use the word triumphs. <laughs> this word I want. Like I'm getting the image of a big trumpet. I <laughs> it sounds. It yeah, it's just it's very clear. Mm. Um, it's very clear and very powerful. So they're they're like a really good, you know, you know, if you call them as a collective together, um, because Gabriel will help it just very very clear you feel very clear, like you're speaking very clear and getting your, your uh, message across. And then, and then Michael just has this very powerful energy. So then you, you call that in and it's just like, oh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just getting very loving energy when you call them both. That's what my higher self wants to say. So, All right, so that's all we have today. We will try to uh, post a, post another video soon so that you don't have to wait so long. And my, my website will be used for um, posting uh, some blogs and I plan to put some material on there of information and channelings and meditations and um, images that I am creating and and stuff like that. Um, I, I won't say that I will never do 
personal readings again. It's just that I need to take a break from it and really focus on me and what my mission is, what is really, I don't want to say what's important, but what's the priority uh, in regards to what I'm here to do. Okay, so uh, I'll keep you posted on my on my work. Uh, I do have a novel that is really my only blue, blueprint here on this earth. Um, so I need to get the, to that and clear what's holding me back about that. So that is really, really kind of why I am taking this time. So I wish you well, everybody. I love you all and we'll see you soon.